Hey there guys, it's Lee here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at Claymore's Dual Ethereum and the Creed and also the new feature is uh, Cyacoin Mining. So with this Dual Miner, you've got um, a couple of different mining modes, which is really quite cool. Um, so you can actually see on screen, I'm actually in uh, the single mining mode. So the Claymore Miner is actually just mining Ethereum. But this mine is really cool because you can actually dual mine uh, coins at the same time. So you can uh, solo mine, sorry, you can mine Ethereum just on its own. You can mine Ethereum plus Decreed, or you can mine Ethereum plus Sirecoin. So it's um, quite good in terms of uh, features. It's got actually stacks of features. Um, but the, the main reason that you would want to use it is that you can mine multiple coins at the same time without too much of a performance trade-off or significant extra costs um, in terms of electricity. So I'll just show you the actual basics of it and um, yeah, hopefully get you up and running uh, with this software. So I'll put a link in the actual description uh, where you can actually download it from. I'll just go to downloads. So the one that you want to download is this uh, Claymore's Dual Ethereum uh, Decreed and Cycoin Miner and the version is 5.3. So that's the actual uh, zip file there. Like I say, I'll put a link in the description where you can uh, download and access that from. Then you want to obviously just extract it to a folder. In this case, it will be uh, this one here uh, for me, at least from memory. So we'll take a look inside there and then it should look uh, like this inside. So um, you've got the actual miner at the top there, and then what I've done is I've actually put three um, sort of sample uh, patch files in there, and then hopefully you can just um, configure those and get up and running quickly. So the first one I'll show you is the star ethereum only dot bat. So if we just right click, um, go to edit this. So this is the actual um, inside of it. So you've got the call for the actual miner, um, I've got this first part here as well. Um, this is the actual devices, so it's going to start on device 0 and 1. Um, that's because on this machine I've got um, two graphics cards. Um, you probably actually won't need that first part of the config in there. Or you can leave it in, it really doesn't matter. It um, doesn't really make that much of a difference. Um, the important parts are, you've got this ePool, so then you've got this is the actual pool address. Um, I'm mining at ethermine.org for Ethereum. Um, I've been using them for a couple of months now. Um, they're really good service. I don't think there have been any outages or any problems at all with them. They're, they're really good and really pleased with that as a pool. Um, and then we've got this eWow, um, which basically is to confirm our Ethereum address, which is that part there. Then we've got the dot, and then we've got worker1, which is just an actual nickname to confirm that's our worker. And then we've just got like a dummy kind of password, which is um, X on the end there. So if we fire that up, it's just going to start in Ethereum only mode. So I'll just fire that up and you can take a look at it. So this uh, machine has two R7370s in there. So you can see it's um, going to go on Ethereum. It's got no pool specified for Decreed. Um, these are our two graphics cards you can see there. Um, and then it just gives you some basic sort of information. So it's going to start mining in Ethereum only mode and um, it should start running in just a moment. Um, these graphics cards are currently um, overclocked as well by the way so um, this is the performance you can expect on overclocked graphics cards. Um, and you can see there it's, that's uh, kind of fairly typical um, 28.2 uh, mega hashes uh, per second. So that's pretty good. So that's Ethereum um, only mode. So I'll just close that. Um, I've done this sort of uh, previously, but I'll just show you this one as well. So this is for dual mining. So it's going to mine Ethereum and also alongside it's going to mine Decreed um, as well. So the uh, first part of the actual configuration is the same as it was before. So exactly the same as it was in the first instance, just for mining Ethereum. And then the second part, we've got some extra features. So this is a D pool and then it's stratum and then the actual pool address. So it's another pool, and this pool is for mining uh, Decreed. So that's the pool address there. And then we've got our worker details. So if you actually go to um, dcr.supernova.cc, you can actually create a, an account there. And then that account is obviously used for um, setting up your workers and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's the actual um, pool and worker details. 
So I'll just show you that up and running now as well as. So it starts up a similar sort of process as it does before, but this time it says it's going to be mining ETH and also Decreed is also specified as the pools, obviously saying graphics cards. And then I'll just show you how this um, you know, changes the performance versus uh, Ethereum mining only. So you can see we've kind of got we've got this ETH line here in like the uh, a green, and then we've got this uh, Decreed, which is like a browny sort of yellow color. So it'll take a, just um, a couple of seconds for it to go through, and then we should start seeing some hash rates coming through. So you can see Ethereum there is 26, 26.5, and then again 26.5, 26.5. Um, but also you can see the decreed is mining at just under 400 mega hashes per second on each one of those lines. So with this miner, we're currently mining two coins at the same time. You can see the Ethereum is a little bit slower, but that's kind of offset by yeah, the amount of um, decreed that we're mining. Um, what you can also do as well is you can change the, um, the secondary uh, intensity. So if you use on your keyboard, if you select the actual miner, if you use on your keyboard um, the plus and the minus keys, um, you can kind of reduce the intensity, uh, which should speed up the Ethereum. And then you probably should be able to find a point where you can kind of get the um, the Ethereum at a nice level that you want it, uh, without affecting this, the overall speed too much, but also still mine um, decreed at the same time. So that was minus, you can reduce the intensity, and if you can also put it back up, um, I believe the uh, default intensity is 30. So then that just carries on like that. So that's um, Ethereum and Creed um, dual mining there. So I'm just going to close that down now. I've done a more detailed video um, on those two. Uh, if you look back from other videos, you'll see that previously. Okay, so the next part that I want to get to is um, Ethereum and uh, Sirecoin mining because I've done a few Sirecoin videos recently and they was uh, well received. So this kind of um, uh, goes on top of that. So um, as before with the other mining configs, uh, the first part is uh, the Ethereum part, so it connects to the Ethermine pool with my address, worker details, etc. Then the second part is it looks very similar to the actual decreed part, but then we've got this, I'm actually mining on the Sire mining pool. Um, so you've got this line here, which is the, for the Sire mining pool. And then we've got the address. This part here is actually my Sirecoin address. And then we've got this part, Worker1, which is just a nickname. So for example, if you want to use these existing uh, batch files for your own use, you can just change this address here, if you change it for your own Ethereum address, and then just change this address here for your own Sirecoin address. Change those two details and click File and Save, and then you, you're good to go. And there's also one other thing to mention, um, you can leave this in as well, this D, um, hyphen D coin space SC um, just lets the miner know to mine in um, Sirecoin mode, otherwise it will default to um, Decreed mode and go a bit weird. So leave that in there as well. So I'll just close that and I'll show you how this works. So if we just fire it up, so Ethereum and Sirecoin this time. And as before it starts up, so you've got Ethereum pools specified and Sirecoin specified. It tells you what pools they are as well as, and also the port numbers. Um, same, obviously, graphics cards, of course. And then it's going to get started up, same as it did before, very much, very similar. I'll just give it a few seconds to get through. Okay, so we're making some progress now. So you can see Ethereum is at 25.157 and Sirecoin is 377.3. I'll just let it refresh um, a couple more times just so you can get a better kind of average of um, what results you might expect with your own uh, graphics cards. Okay, and then we've got another update again there. So Ethereum uh, 24.7 and Sirecoin uh, 371 mega hashes. So they're the kind of uh, results you can get. And um, as before with the decreed, um, you can change the intensity. So you can reduce the intensity, which should improve Ethereum speed, or you can increase the uh, intensity, which will uh, reduce the Ethereum speed, but increase the, you know, the secondary coin speed or the Sirecoin speed. 
So that's how that works there as well. Um, okay, I'll just close that there. So that's about it for this video. I think that answers um, the most of the basic questions. Um, if you do have uh, questions or you want to know more about the configuration, like I say, this miner does have lots of features in terms of uh, performance control, graphics card control, you can control um, the clock speeds, the temperatures, all sorts of um, uh, different things, as well as many other sort of mining modes. Um, you can also remotely manage and uh, view the actual mining performance. It's got lots and lots of features. Um, I'm not going to go into them in this video. I just want to keep it um, nice and simple for you guys um, and just sort of focus on, on the primary usage of it. Um, but if you do have any questions or comments, um, as always, leave those in the comments area um, below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Um, also, one other thing, if you do feel like um, helping me or the channel out, um, you can just start either of the batch files, any of those, um, just start it. you can leave it running with the default settings um, and that will help um, support the channel um, basically you'll be using your computing or GPU power um, to mine a little bit for me and that will get credited to me and um, obviously I will really appreciate it guys um, any funds I do uh, receive I will be spending back on the channel so I just want to let you know that's an option for you um, so that's it for this video guys thank you very much for watching I'll see you on the next one next time